Hello everyone, and welcome back to another 13 Nights of Halloween for more spooky adventures. I'm still here with Ignit, and we are still here with Monster Party, or Parry World Monster Party, it is, as is the official Japanese name for this game that was never released. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Ohio gamers, welcome back! Back again. So we're here, this time I feel, with a new plan. I hope to at least get to level 3, so we can see some of them. I have not seen any of the bosses at level 3, so it should be pretty good. Though I do know, some, do know some of them by just, like, infamy of what this game is known for. Uh, it is usually a parody of something, or I'm already getting hit. Oh, it's okay. He gave me a health, so that's fine. All right, so let's see. Where did that... It's over here, right? Over here is where the pill, magic pill is to make me big and strong. One of these data bastards. I've watched you speedrun, and it's automatically made me better. <laughs> yeah, baby! I don't know, uh, so I've always liked Sonic games. Mm -hmm. I guess we're just going a little tangent here, right? You're going through what you already yeah, done, go but, um, I've always liked Sonic games. I just kind of fell off of them because my favorite ones are on the Wii. And, uh, oh, <laughs> play yeah. and playing on the Wii is not fun. And, uh, Sonic Colors is my favorite Sonic game of all time, even to this day. And that was locked on the Wii. I literally have a Wii sitting in the living room with Sonic Colors that we bought when I first moved over here. And I played it once and never again because I just hate the Wii Remote. So when Sonic Colors Ultimate got announced for PC and console and stuff, I was like, all right, it's time. I'm coming back, baby. And then uh, play Sonic Colors Ultimate. Loved the game. I have 100 hours in it within the first week. Uh, and then what happened was I was like, man, <laughs> what is it? Planet Wisp Act 1 is my favorite Sonic stage of all time. Let me see how fast I can do this. And then it just went from there. It's now I'm speedrunning Sonic Generations on the leaderboards. I had a couple world records for Ultimate at one point. That's uh, <laughs> some people beat me. Like, there's one that someone beat me by 0 0.02 seconds. <laughs> it's impressive, man. Yeah. I always thought speedrunning is cool, just like everyone else who... I kind of got into speedrunning just because I like watching it on HDQ and stuff like that, like Summer Games on Quick. That's, I think, where a decent number of people first kind of got to experience it. Um, and I've always enjoyed the way people just <laughs> play a game so much that they love and then they just completely break it. I think there's something special about that, <laughs> playing something so much that you just completely break it. it shows, yes, it's so fun. Yeah, it's a love and dedication that is, I think usually like misinterpreted i feel like there's a decent number of people who don't understand it and are like bah i can beat the game slow that's the way you're like that weird guy on twitter who said yeah <laughs> <laughs> somebody left his love <laughs> oh my god dude did you see the sonic clip that someone coded that with yes from sonic adventure 2 <laughs> yes with, with shadow someone. saying it oh i fucking died shadow <laughs> There's Shadow, that one. what the actual fuck are you talking about? <laughs> someone did that one. Someone did one of Deltarune, which was like an entire boss stage of this character talking, which is really funny. It's really great. <laughs> Sometimes someone says something just so patently stupid that it's kind of amazing <laughs> to watch him get dunked on for a bit. Yeah, I just don't know what that man was thinking. <laughs> Some people just don't think before they say stuff. I do that all the time, but I, it's usually about stuff that no one cares about, like Dokkan, so I don't get any trouble for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. People will blast the hall, but they have not heard my actual takes on Dokkan, and I can easily get <laughs> away from all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the hall. It's the hall is a... Uh... I love Zahal. He's my number one interaction for me. I know. I love Zahal too. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like he's like on a. I'm surprised that he's able to handle it at all. I would simply get off of Twitter at some point. <laughs> yeah, like it's funny. Like it's funny to do it to him because he knows I'm fucking with him. But then I see other people hopping, and that's when I start feeling bad. It's like, yeah, it, it's funny for me because I've known him for like five years but seeing randoms do it is kind of hurts <laughs> yeah it's kind of like one time i said of course the hall is doing this and it was in a joking manner and this is the last time i ever did as a hall thing um i did that and then someone literally replied with i fucking hate the hall <laughs> i was like whoa what the fuck man this is a whoa, friend of calm mine calm down you need to calm the fuck down because that is a friend of mine that i do not fucking appreciate anything you've just said <laughs> and i was like all right 
that's when I realized, like, oh no, there's some people who seriously believe it. And he puts up with so much shit, it's amazing, but yeah, I have some of the worst possible takes on Dokkan, I think. Oh, we have to fight, that's right, we have to fight the Tapur again. Thankfully, he's in Yeah! Games. Just like actual short. It's just, the easiest thing with Zahal is when he bashes other gacha games, just bring up that he plays Grand Cross. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That, that's the instant way to win. <laughs> now that Magic the Gathering is getting uh, Jim Hopper, I no longer have a reason to praise Grand Cross. That was the reason why I got into Grand Hoss is that it had uh, from Stranger Things Jim Hopper <laughs> in it. Which is still, I think, <laughs> you can not like Grand Cross and I think you can still kind of say like, no, that's fucking insane. Who would do this? <laughs> Who would put Jim Hopper and then also make him viable for some stupid reason? <laughs> <laughs> um, but now that he's in Magic the Gathering, which is also an insane thing to say, I can finally move on from Grand Cross. Even though I think I had installed it a little while ago. It just got too much, man. With Dragalian and everything else I play, I just needed I needed to limit myself to so many gotchas. <laughs> I say that I say that like, oh the Dragalia loss, even though I think I've spent almost two thousand hours in fake Grand Order. I think that's actually... Grand Order, dude. That's I actually... love that game. I <laughs> I keep cutting you off my bag. Go ahead. No, it's, no, it's go ahead. What were you going to say? No, you go ahead. <laughs> um, I think Dragalia has a lot of grinding into it, but I think it's actually very respectful of your time. Fago is not respectful of your time. <laughs> it does not care yeah. about your timetable at all. <laughs> Either complete yeah. this, I... um, this event... Like in this time period, or you just never see it again. How about that? Yeah, we'll have fun waiting for two years. Yeah, FGO is a. It's one of those games where I bash it now, but mm -hmm. I'll let y'all in a secret. Only reason why I bash it is because they don't have five star Medusa. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the five star Medusa, then I'll play the game again. I love Fate Grand Order. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> just, where's my Medusa at, bro? <laughs> No, I can understand that. I don't know why they haven't released a new 5-star Medusa. I think it's like the easiest slam dunk in the history of the game if they just released a 5-star Medusa. Like, it's very clear that she, fucking one of the dudes from Gouda Gouda keeps putting Medusa in his, in, his in his events because he's like, no, this is my waifu. I want her in my stories. So she's always in it. <laughs> Even if she, so she serves no functioning purpose, she's always going to be in this event. And they just go like, okay, there's nothing we can stop you because you are the story writer for this, so go with God. <laughs> Godspeed, fella. Godspeed. Yeah. You have it to respect one that day. level. Yeah, well, I think one day, we're getting close. They have to, at some point, release a summer version of Medusa. Just like any five-star Medusa. The, the Gorgon anything. Just give it to me. Yeah, I'm a, the only reason Gorgon was not a five-star was because of the sure, sure amount of, like... Age of Gods level, like, insanity of characters that were released for Babylon. Like, at a certain point, they're like, oh yeah, we just can't make everyone a five-star. <laughs> it would be, it would break the game in some matter. If we just did it to everyone. But yeah, I, I, as much as I complain about the grind in it, uh, I absolutely love Fake Grand Order. I'm actually very happy Probably with for it. for a reason, man. Yeah, at least it's a grinding for a reason. Like, as long as I can enjoy the story and I don't get... I think I'm one of the luckiest people on, um, Fate. Because I'm able to play it and not get too salty and stop playing the game. Like, I've, I've never done one of those things where it's like I spent $800 and did not get what I wanted or something. At worst, I've been always able to say I'm done and move on. <laughs> Because I live in an A world where I'm like, well, I know there's actually other banners featuring them in it. So if I really do care about this character, I can save for two years and know exactly where to get them next. That was the final boss we needed yeah. to beat. So we're on to the next world, by the way, as long as I don't die. Yeah, that's the beauty of uh, playing in A is because uh, a lot of the issues is it's just like they, they don't release too many characters. But they release a good bit and you just don't know which ones you really want to summon for and then you also don't know what materials I have grinded ahead of time. But in A, you have that shit ready two years, two years ahead of time. And realistically speaking, you're probably going to be summoning like two or three banners a year. Yeah. Maybe you're uh, smart with your currency. So that you realistically be able to get most of what you want, unless you just get really unlucky. And then you already have all the materials grinded, your grails ready and everything like that. So you just instantly level 100 them. 
yeah, that's what that's honestly one of the reasons why I love it so much. Um, and the funny thing is, is like a, a good example is that whenever JP hits summer, I'm always like, if I'm actually legitimately playing this game, I don't know how. Like, I, I think I would literally just stop playing because I'd be so mad. So, like, uh, the year where they added Summer Kiara, I think she was the only <laughs> the only actual um, unit I was able to get that year for Summer. So I got... <laughs> this is the only time I ever got <laughs> one out of six of the Summer units. And I was so mad salty about it. I was like, ugh. But yeah. Oh, here's the next stage. Here's level three. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to die... <laughs> I can Wait, did it. your shirt change color? Hell yeah. I'm deeper in, and now I got a cool pink. He's kind of like Yeah, he's color. rocking my hair color. Yeah! yeah. He's I like that so we both thought at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I think of pink, it's uh, your hair color and Kirby. The two pink things <laughs> that I mostly think about. Oh, you know what? This is cruel. If there's no... What the fuck was that? Before we... <laughs> What the hell? He's got a big ass skull. I don't even know what this is a skeleton. It ain't human. Let me just whap it real quick. With my... There we go. It was, a, it was a human that just had an abnormally large head. It did. Oh, even the demon's pink now. I see. You lose. Is... Oh. oh. Oh, this is cruel. Oh. You know why? Because I'm going to die. Oh. Oh, thank god. I thought oh, that oh, both of them were about to fall on me and I was about to be so good. <laughs> was that Dracula? That's Dracula? Okay. <laughs> sure, let's just go. Oh shit. Fucking respawn. Right <laughs> you just yeah, took it, bro. <laughs> it looks like a Dracula throw it up the west side. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is! <laughs> west side. He saw the don't know nothing. <laughs> Let me quickly farm up some <laughs> life while I'm here. Oh, this is sweet. See, again, NES games are hard, but I think they are fa they are fair in what they do. Like, I think the same thing could be applied for Genesis games as well. Just in case someone thinks I'm move it. <laughs> just in case someone thinks I'm biased towards Genesis, which I am. Oh <laughs> God, what is this man? Oh, he's doing little scoots. Oh, but he can't catch me because I fly. Oh, he shoots pigs! I need to just quickly kill him. Because I didn't- No, no, he shoots cows. Shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Wow, this guy's kicking my ass with the shooting the cows. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my ability to fly here, too, in a couple seconds. This is a very bizarre oh, boss no. fight. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna try and leave. Which. <laughs> didn't work out. Very bizarre boss fight. <laughs> it is. I thought it was like the Minotaur, but for some reason he's shooting cows at me. I think for that fight I have to actually be, um. normal so I can shoot the cows back at him. I think that would make the fight significantly easier if I could shoot the cows back at him. But let's try again. Yeah. What were we talking That's about? That's one before? hell of a bat. It is. Oh, it's most... we're talking about FTO? <laughs> yes, we were. I got distracted by fucking the Dracula, the West Side Dracula. <laughs> like, it completely. Yeah. Broke... <laughs> it completely <laughs> broke my trade of I know you're close to dead, so I'm just gonna bat batter you. There we go. I don't see the West Side now. Did you did you know that um, Count Chocula is canonically the world's strongest vampire? Really? If you, yeah, if you look up in the, I think it's the vampire wiki, known weaknesses, his only weakness is get soggy in milk. Otherwise he has, <laughs> he, otherwise he is immortal, he can survive the, the sun. Like, everything about him is extremely strong, the only thing he can't, <laughs> the only thing that's a negative against them is that he turns soggy in milk. <laughs> and no weaknesses, huh? It reminds me of uh, Tech Gold of Frieza. Exactly. Tekel and Frieza and the brand new Gohan, the the no friends having ass Gohan, <laughs> my favorite, <laughs> my favorite revelation that Dokkan has ever realized is that <laughs> Gohan has no friends. <laughs> Even that statement, it makes you laugh because it's fucking hilarious. Who in their right mind would ever look at Gohan and say this man has no friends? <laughs> 
Well, west side, Dracula, you down. All right, I think I have enough health to take down that boss. Let's do it. Move it. Get it, because he's a cow. <laughs> wow, you really are just shooting cows back at him. Wow. That, wow. The wow. bat is crazy, dude. I wish I could do that with the bat. I know, it's bat OP, man. Him and Batman are the think... two strongest bats. Think, what it... <laughs> what, make, what, what is this bat made out of that can knock a whole cow away? It has to be made of strong ass stuff. They're enough for a monster to go, yo, I think you should, I need to get a pill to take down these fucking Draculas. These ride or die Draculas for the West Coast. <laughs> there we go. How many jokes of the West Coast can I make? I'm about at the end. <laughs> the only thing I got left is Biggie and Tupac. <laughs> Shit, what we uh, I keep saying that. I keep getting distracted by the fucking Dracula every time. I feel like every time I say, like, what were we talking about? The answer is we were having a very normal conversation and then you started talking about Dracula. <laughs> West Side Dracula. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the. So, yeah, no friend having Gohan. Probably the funniest thing. Along with Kaba being confirmed having no friends. That means Kale and Khalifa do not see him as a friend. They see him as some dude who took him to the Tournament of Power and nothing else. Um, Either that or a sex object. One or the other. Nah, no way. There's no way that... Uh, but Kaba's Kale... getting... The... No way. <laughs> you kidding me? You look at Kaba. He looks like the kind of dude hey. who gets his girl taken in a doujinshi. He just has that aura hey, about him. <laughs> <laughs> he does, but maybe just spit some mad game, bro. One moment, oh, my mommy. legs are asleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh shit! I need to get my bat. I'm. I have the range, but I don't think I have. Yeah. Actually, I was doing pretty okay. Let me go back. Unfortunately, I'm back. I have to. God, the problem is, is when he gets too close to me. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm assuming those are bandages he's shooting at you, not horse cocks. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's also a bandage. <laughs> what else would a mummy shoot at you? Alright, let's go. I also love mummies. I think mummies are pretty cool. Underappreciated mod classic monster. Everyone goes towards Dracula and Frankenstein. No one gives any love for the mummy unless it features Brendan <laughs> Brendan Fraser. <laughs> Alright, so real quick. Yeah, go ahead. We did do the mod cast thing. So, one of the APT boys has done the math. Uh-huh. And, uh, so, with even, in Super Bad Earth only, basically, but they're stunned. His average APT is 7, not 7, 9.3 million unsupported. Hmm. 9.3 so, like, million. It's not, it's not bad, but that's also in, like, one event in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but whatever, they'll use that one event to tell you, no, this unit's good. Because people can't actually make up their mind whether or not one event makes a unit good in Dokkan. <laughs> yeah. It's maybe the most frustrating <laughs> thing about being in the Dokkan community is either one day this event, being good and only this event is extremely important, or it's actually super mid. It just depends on everyone's mood that day and what Zahal said in the morning. It, it's 100% Pretty much. <laughs> like if, if so he what if it's that you like playing more? What, say it again? What if it's you like playing more? Short ones like Secret Battle Road or the long ones like the Goku and Vegeta? Do you want me to be real with you? You're gonna say neither, but... I'm gonna uh... say, <laughs> um... Easy A grinding and Dokkan Fest. Those are the the two most I enjoy most in Dokkan. Well, it, it, any units get for you then. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing is that the way I play Dokkan is very casually, and I accept that I play it very casually, and I have just a different barometer compared to everyone else. The thing that I want them to fix is for them to fix the fucking friend system so I can use whatever leader I want, as opposed to doing what I do now, which is going... Who is the, I have to basically play by the most popular, like... Oh, I actually was able to beat him, sweet. Um, but I actually do enjoy uh, Super Battle Road, depending on the category. I actually don't have many problems with that. 
And actually, the what is the newest thing they just released? The um, history thing? Yeah. I, thought I that don't was know actually... the name of it. Yeah, because <laughs> it has a stupid name. It has, like, the epic conclusion <laughs> battle of super history. It has, like, the world's yeah. most corniest, dumbass name that I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually a very good um, mode, I think. I think it has a very good, like... Um, it's tough, but only if you want to follow specifically, like, only use super dynamic dudes, or only use uh, this category, I think it ends up being kind of challenging, which is nice. But if you don't want that challenge, you can just bring whatever unit and you'll have a pretty good time. Um, it's decently long enough in length, but it's also not the kind of long event where... Um, People who stack just automatically win, which is nice. As much as I like occasional yeah, units like that. I think I like that event a lot, because it's a nice mixture of the short and long events. Because um, for the first couple stages, basically short, and then the last one's a long event. So you kind of have to um, build a team where you have good short-term units and actually good long-term units as well. Yeah, yeah. you have to kind of think of them both ways. And in some cases, like, you have to actually run the unit that maybe not wasn't for the best. Like, for example, I was using the Namek Goku even when he was having a disadvantage on... Because he wasn't a extreme class. And he was still doing perfectly fine. And I thought, like, alright, he just doesn't do as much damage. I'm about to lose this fucking umbrella. I'm about to get fucking killed by this umbrella. <laughs> no! <laughs> God damn it! I beat the stupid mummy and <laughs> this is what I lose to. All right, <laughs> let's try one more time, but we'll end the video for now. We'll have one final video for 13 nights, but for now, thank <laughs> you everyone for watching and hearing us talk. Um, say goodbye, dude. See you later, gamers. We'll be back for the next video, fuckers. Yeah. There you go. Up until the fuckers, <laughs> you were doing a fantastic job. <laughs> <laughs>